Hello again, my channel. We meet again. I don't know if that worked. So if you have followed my channel at all, I would hope that you are well aware of my thoughts on the TikToks. Now, Twitter, that's a whole nother side of the uh, crap coin, uh, if you will. If hell had rings, Twitter would be right, right above TikTok. TikTok below, for sure. And Tumblr even further down be below that. And I don't even want to talk about Tumblr. It's, it's just not even, I don't even want to broach the subject. Twitter is a, is a cesspool of just arguments and echo chambers. And the only reason that I'm still there is just to laugh at people. And it's something I like to say, and a lot of other people have said before, Twitter is not reality. But the problem is, is that companies are making Twitter reality. But I'll get to that a little bit later. First, let's go into what's going on. If you're not already aware, TSR is the company, the original team that created the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons. If you don't know what Dungeons & Dragons are, I can't help you. Why are you around in these nerd parts? You should probably find an exit. It was originally created by Gary Gygax. He's kind of the spearhead of this whole kind of kerfuffle going on, and I'll get to that. In the years following the creation of Dungeons & Dragons, the company itself, TSR, went defunct. And the company that now owns the rights to Dungeons & Dragons is Wizards of the Coast. A couple times, TSR tried to reform this is the first time that a lot of the original creative team have rejoined and they're using tsr once again and they are working on new role-playing game settings now the hobby that is role-playing playing with dice in different settings fantasy space etc a lot like many other nerd culture type things it has been infiltrated and taken over by crying selfish children. These harpies have posthumously gone after Gary Gygax himself because Gary Gygax leans to the right politically. They've claimed that orcs are a racist allegory for black people, and recently they've gone after the race barbarians for also being a racist allegory. The company Wizards of the Coast that own them now removed negative racial traits for certain races. Now, if you don't know how the game is played, you pick a race and you pick a class. Now there's different races. There's like dwarf, there's human, there's elf, there's half elf, there's orcs. Well, now you can't have negative traits on these because orcs are black people. Their words, not mine. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, it's a little bit of the backstory. We're actually gonna talk about the current issue that's going on right now with TSR. And I know what you guys are gonna say. Some of you guys are like, ah, it's Twitter. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Who fucking gives two shits about fucking Twitter at all? Listen, there's a little bit of uh, a lesson to be had in this whole issue. And it's not necessarily just related to Twitter. I'd also like to shout out Clownfish TV. They've been covering this thing as it's been developing. Go subscribe over there. Those are pretty cool people. Now, I'm going to break down the events that... Uh, not conspired it's not perspired that happened so tsr just recently restarted uh, with gary gygax's son ernie gygax and this person tweets let me oh i'm actually blocked well one second oh look at that it's that easy to circumvent twitter well anyways let's read this uh this tweet Gary Gygax Jr. reveals that he's interested in catering to bigots who have issues with inclusivity in regards to gender identity. I'm glad he reveals he's true self right out of the gate so I know who not to support. Well, let's watch this video. What does he, uh, what does he claim at 1740? Let's see. I got to put my cans on. I want to say that uh, TSR has been gone. There's a ton of of artists and game designers and people that played those there and recently they were dissed for being uh, old-fashioned possibly uh anti uh modern trends what you know and and uh 
and enforcing or even having the concepts of gender identity. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I heard anything in there that was uh, negative. <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't, didn't see anything there. What he did say that is even close to something that they're saying here that he's, he's catering to bigots. Again, they you throw out these words like bigots, that really means nothing. They, ne they never back it up with any actual evidence. He says that a lot of the artists and creators, they have been ousted because they don't quite line up politically with these harpies. TSR responds, we are intolerant of hatred of any kind from all sides. All players are welcome at our table. Thanks to the role-playing game, we have a deep commitment to diversity and inclusion. First mistake, do not appease the harpies. Only ignore them because guess what? They don't give a fuck about your appeasement. It's never good enough. And you will see. This brought a wave of neo-nerds. And I'm going to call these people neo-nerds because guess what? They are not nerds. Nerds are people that agree with that tweet. Nerds are people that are actually, by the actual meaning of the word, open to inclusivity and diversity. These people are people that like Big Bang Theory, have a wall of Funko Pops, people that have only played the most recent version of the game because Critical Role made it popular. Because these people aren't really nerds, they're neo-nerds, NEO nerds. They're not the same kind of nerds. They're something new. So it brought these shrieking people into their mentions. Because you do not interact. You just ignore. Because once they sent that tweet out, it brought in a flood of people to start dogpiling. You can't from all sides that <clears throat> uh, You can't from all sides this. You've said nothing. You've made no stand. All you've said is, we welcome all people. As if that's a negative thing. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You need to make an overt statement that you do not allow racists and other sorts of bigots because otherwise they think you're saying you welcome them don't appease don't appease it's not the old days casual racism homophobia transphobia and ableism do not fly anymore you have to actively think about them and act to keep them out of your company and your games ernie messed up and was representing you you need to make a clear statement of solidarity make an offer to appease these cultists you have to make your offering. The offering's never good enough, but you have to make the offering. You have to say overtly that you're against X, Y, Z, because guess what? Z gonna come after you. I repeat my question. What is your strategy for inclusion and diversity? How are we going to see it? How many people in your team are women? How many people are LGBTIQ plus A -O -X -A -X -O -X -O -X -O? How many are, b are back? Mm, I think he meant to say black. How many are POC. Offer up yourself. Prostrate yourself in front of the mob so they may judge you. TSR, again, you just don't interact with them, man. Don't give them anything. TSR made this response to the influx of the whiners, and they said, A reminder, we do not tolerate hate of any kind. If you arrive to fight or make threats of any kind, you will be blocked, reported, and banned from further entry. Please do your best to remain civilized. Thank you. I would like to just highlight this beautiful self own right here. Let's not pretend that D&D doesn't have bigotry baked into it. It absolutely does. From Unearth Arena 2004. Uh, so they list uh, here a table. Uh, random indefinite insanity, mental disorder types. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to say with this but these are mental disorder types and i thought ableist wasn't including mental disorder like that literally is including different mental disorders like i don't even understand this is the icing on the cake here psychosexual disorders and they highlight transsexualism and then they highlight here way at the bottom most of these disorders could make players of the afflicted characters uncomfortable and thus are not appropriate for most role-playing groups although they can make for striking if unpleasant npcs yes it can make for striking if unpleasant npcs like i said these shrieking harpies have started flooding in and they're saying horrible things 
horrible things about Gary Gygax, saying that they would spit on his grave and that he's a bigot and spitting on the graves of bigots is okay. Here's another fine tweet. Almost anybody that plays the games have been and are fans of old material. Here they're quoting somebody, or I, I'm, I'm going to assume that they're misquoting somebody. I do not know a single person who likes anything earlier than 3E, and even that's not many. The whole interview screams, old white man, and I can't put my finger on it. So this person pulls themselves out as a neo-nerd. Literally says they don't know anybody that, that even plays earlier than 3E. Third edition for you, for you people that don't know. Like blatantly saying, most of the people that I know that play, play Monopoly Junior version of D&D. It's, hey, that's fine. If you like D&D 5E, more power to you. I, I enjoyed 5E, but you have to admit it is a simpler version of the game. It is very dumbed down, very accessible to everybody, which is totally great. Like, I'm, I'm glad that a bunch of people are able to play 5e it's really simple you can kind of get into it it's not quite as uh, complicated there's not that learning curve that earlier versions of the game had i like third edition myself uh but that's you know that's me i'm glad that you have that go play your monopoly junior version of it but you have to accept that it is a monopoly junior version of DD. come on so this kind of brings me to my main point twitter is not reality but companies are making twitter reality they're appeasing these shrieking harpies and making these groups valid. Wizards of the Coast, like I said earlier, they're on their side. They've removed racial traits. They're removing certain terms in the game to appease these people because it's inclusive or whatever. Gen Con. Gen Con, the biggest role-playing convention created by Gary Gygax. Womp womp. They have banned TSR from attending the convention based off of the game of telephone, based off of a bunch of harpies in their mentions saying, you need to ban, you can't allow them to have, you, they associate with what? If you go to Gen Con's original tweet, you scroll through there, a bunch of people hiding behind cartoon avatars saying a bunch of stuff, but not listing what they said why they're a bigot why they're transphobic you see they don't do it because it's a big game of telephone if i say an accusation and if somebody else sees my me say an accusation they take that accusation and run with it and then more people say it and then more people say it and then the company sees it and then a company goes oh maybe i shouldn't associate with a bigot but nobody ever looks into oh wait what was the original accusations oh it's just him saying not even he's saying in the interview that people before have done this to him, made accusations. He's saying in the video, he didn't even say anything specifically in that video or in that interview about this. He's just referencing the fact that people, harpies, neo-nerds from before have done this to him. This is a pattern. This is the same thing that they did to Gina Carano. First, they find somebody that's not political or, or somebody that has leaning center right opinions. Label that person or entity a bigot with flimsy evidence if they have evidence at all. Those accusations float around Twitter and the cult sphere and they just keep moving on and nobody ever actually looks into it. They just take it at face value. Oh, you say that they're a bigot? I guess they are. And then they run with it. Cultists start flooding that person or entity's mentions with accusations that have no actual basis. Or they make them, you have to overtly, we saw it earlier, you have to overtly say that you are not a bigot or you are not a racist or that you are disowning said person or some other person, right? Then the neo-nerds move to the companies. They go to Gen Con. They start tweeting them. They go to other places. They start tweeting them. They start. They go to Disney. They start tweeting them with these accusations that are made up and that have no basis in reality. And then the company sees that, and to get clout or to appease these people, they then cancel person or entity. And the cycle continues. Companies are making Twitter real, and this is how you stop it. You ignore them. If this happens to you, you ignore them. You don't interact. Or unless you're like me, you just laugh at them. You, you kind of poke the bear. That's what I, I kind of poke the bear. That's why I'm on Twitter. I, if you're not a bigot, you know you're not a bigot. You don't got to prove that shit to these, to these neo-nerds. Let the neo-nerds have their Funko Pops. Let them play their 5E. And they can fuck off. 
because guess what? Role playing has always been inclusive. It's always been diverse because it all predicates on your friend group. If you're friends with somebody that, that runs the game, it's based on that person. Like, there's no company coming in and saying, you aren't playing your, your Dungeons and Dragons correctly. Oh, you can't have your, your transgender character. Like, nobody's stepping in and saying that. You can play the game however you want to. But see, that's the funny thing about it. It's a game that's so creative and inclusive that they have to create things <laughs> to get mad about. You can create whatever character you want to. And with that, they're like, oh shit, uh, I guess we got to make some shit up. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video. It really does help. I appreciate everybody that sends me comments because uh, that does help with the interactions and whatnot. And I don't know. This kind of stuff is it's stupid. It's like Twitter drama. But I, I do think that there is an example to be made of not giving these people validity. Like, they're just angry people that are angry at themselves. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I can't think of anything to say. I don't know how to end these. Oh, and I saw somebody that said they didn't like my censor button. So for you, bro, fuck your ass, fucking motherfucking fuck shit, motherfucking cunt, bitch, fuck. That's for you.